Hey, what's up, fam? Welcome back to Tommy Bites TV Homestead. Thank you for being here today. Um, let's just get right into it. 5,000 employees are losing their jobs. CVS is letting all of these people go. What's happening? What's going on? How many more companies will we lose? How many more employees will lose their jobs? Food banks are in desperate need of food right now because the demand is so high from the lack of jobs out there for people. All the way from Walmart to Walgreens, to banks, to other grocery stores, these places are closing. Employees are losing their jobs. And sadly, this is not the end of it. Um, Thousands more will be lost before the end of this year. And I'm not just throwing numbers out there. So the cuts represent less than 2% of the company's total workforce, which comprised of roughly 300,000 employees at the end of 2022. And they're cutting these 5,000 jobs in an effort to reduce their costs and focus more on healthcare services. In a statement released to USA Today, which is where I got this article from, they said that we do not expect there to be any impact to our customer-facing colleagues in our stores, pharmacies, clinics, or other customer service centers. The company said those impacted by the layoffs will receive severance pay and benefits, including access to outplacement services. They are simply trying to work with the new customer health needs. So the industry is evolving, they say, and the expectations are different as part of an enterprise initiative to re reprioritize our investments around care delivery and technology. We must take these difficult steps to reduce the expenses, sadly, is at the cost of these employees. So CVS has more than 9,000 retail locations and 1,100 walk-in clinics nationwide. I told you about this this year and last year that these things were happening and now they have started to happen. So I don't think it's an issue where CVS does not have the funds because CVS is slated to buy Medicare focused primary care operator Oak Street Health for $10.6 billion. So actually they've already purchased this Oak Street Health. It says earlier this year, the company completed the $10.6 billion deal to buy Oak Street Health, a company that runs primary care centers for lower to middle income people with Medicare Advantage plans, which are privately run versions of a federal government program for people age 65 or older. With the acquisition, CVS Health plans to capitalize on the federal government interest in cutting costs and improving the health of people in its Medicare program. So they're looking for that government money also. Right now, they're saying that it's expected that this will lower medical costs and provide better patient experience while offering significant value to their shareholders. And that is the key. The shareholders need and want more money. So these job cuts it's going to save them money on that end also. This is not just about, oh, we want to give better health care. That might be some of it, I'm sure. But the rest of it is the shareholders want to increase their money. So this was a quick article. Just wanted to bring it to you. And y'all stay vigilant in stocking up, getting your food preps. Um, I'm seeing more and more shelves with gaps on them, empty spaces. I don't know if that's just... Um, because the trucking company did close down yellow and they do deliver to a lot of different places and maybe deliveries are being delayed or maybe the stores just aren't ordering the way they used to because people aren't buying the way they used to. But everybody is trying to cut expenses and spend less here but spend more there. And in the process, people who are working every single day are losing their jobs. It doesn't matter if they're getting a severance pay, they're getting this and that. I don't believe that everyone is going to get a severance pay that's going to help them pay all of their bills. It's going to sustain them. They still have to find another job. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, 
be kind, be respectful of other people's opinions. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Tommy Light TV, Homestead. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights.